Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room, but something a little bit different to have a look at today. As you will already know, my wife Steph actually keeps fish as well, so she's got a couple of tanks. Um, and this is one of her tanks, so these are Ancestrous Lemon Blue-Eyed Plecos, actually uh, starting to breed. So she took the footage to show me because I was at work at the time, but I thought it's great footage, so I'll put her up on YouTube so we can all have a look. So these are actually breeding in the community setup. Uh, so in the tank there's some tetras, there's some um, endless guppies, there's some sword tails. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 all, all the smaller fish, they don't seem to bother the plecos, so they just leave them to it. So Steph's like been really uh, successful breeding these. So she's actually got a load of them due to go into the next Northwest Cichlid Group auction. So I'll put the leaflet up at the end with all the details, but it's the first Sunday in November. So if anybody's got any bristlenose plex and they want to breed them, the best way to do it, you get some of the caves, most of the uh, local fish shops will sell them. Um, these ones, as you can see, they're actually made out of slate that's silicon together. Um, so you have to put them, put the slate um, caves into the tank, uh, make sure you've got a male and a female, which is really easy because the, the males are the ones with all the bristles on the nose and just leave them to it. So they are quite fascinating to watch. It, it, it is one of the, the things that I like to do with the fish, uh, with watching them breeding. But yeah, they, as you can see, the, the male gets the female, pushes her into the cave, uh, so she'll lay her eggs. Uh, the, the male actually fertilise the eggs, and then it's the male that actually looks after the eggs. So the, he'll look after them for like a, a few days, about four or five days until the eggs hatch, and then you will notice that the, the, the the small babies actually do start to come out. So if you've got them in a breeding setup with just themselves, uh, they are quite easy to raise. You can see all the bristles on the male there st sticking out of the cave. <laughs> yeah, so the, he's just guarding the territory now, making sure nothing else gets around there. Goes for a little one there. Has a look in the, the one of the other caves, which is a little bit small for them actually. But yeah, it's the, the males they do like to wear and to have as many caves as possible. So they will breed with more than one female as well. So like, it's not unusual if you've got a few females that you'll just go from cave to cave. So I think everyone will agree, yeah, Steph's done a really good job of getting the footage. Uh, and <laughs> of the, uh, the, the lemon blue eyed uh, plecos actually breeding so yeah, we'll make a YouTuber from her yet
So this is some of the youngsters from a previous spawning. Um, so as you can see, a uh, slice of cucumber waited down in the tank and they, they love it. So they're all over it. And like they, they, this is one of the things that she does feed them. Uh, the other thing is that like, you know, like little, little pellets, uh, crushed up flake, that sort of thing. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hope to see some of you at the Northwest Sickler Group auction on the first Sunday in November.